And now hurricane season is upon us. Now we of course can help you survive whatever might come our way this season. Storm complacency is a concern here in South Florida. We've gone years now without a direct hit, but that nearly came to an end last year with Hurricane Matthew. We were threatened by that. Emergency management officials hope the close call with Matthew snapped us out of our complacent ways, but did it? TBS4 anchor Rick Bobaum reveals what we found. I think Matthew was a good wake up call for a lot of folks here in South Florida. At least he hopes it was. Daniel Brown is a senior hurricane specialist for the National Hurricane Center. I think the hard part is going to make sure that people do that again next time because we didn't get the brunt of Matthew. We don't want the core to come on shore here in South Florida. We don't want it to come on shore anywhere in Florida. Some of the models had Matthew heading right for us, presenting an urgency that South Floridians hadn't faced in years. Last year I had, you know, I have like some aluminum shutters that I put up, obviously, because that was a pretty scary deal. We've had some rain, some intermittent squalls, but uh, no particular problems. I Thankfully, Matthew missed us, but you never know when our luck will run out. It's a good reminder that you're going to have to make those preparations three, four, maybe five times, but you only get hit once. But that one time you'll be very thankful that you actually made those preparations. So was Matthew the wake up call we needed? Will South Floridians, many of whom never lived here through a hurricane, do what they need to do to prepare. I took hurricane season seriously when I first moved down here, and now, again, I'm kind of complacent, even regardless of last year's scare. I might never get ready. Really? You always think you're going to get hit, and then it never comes, and you go to Publix at the last minute, and there's nothing. So don't wait until the last minute. I probably won't have water or flashlights or any of the necessities unless it's a real threat that they say is coming like next week or this weekend. Well, I'm generally prepared when it comes to just the regular stuff that, you know, you see on any print out in the newspapers to so just be prepared. But into preparing more, no, I mean, we live in Miami, so we're all generally prepared in some one way or another, I would assume. But aren't you nervous at all? Since I've been living here all my life, it's kind of, there is no anxiety levels. I think when we hit, get hit by another big one, when we get hit, hit by another big one, then people will start taking action. This isn't what we were hoping to hear, people. You sound so, uh, so, um... Complacent would be a good word that you could use for me. I'm Rick Folbaum, CBS4 This Morning. Can't be complacent. We can help as you put together your hurricane plan. The first thing you need to do is know whether you might have to evacuate from your area. It's easy for you to see if you live in an evacuation zone. You want to go to Hurricane News. That's the section on CBSMiami.com. Then you click on the evacuation zone interactive map. You enter your address and your zip code. You'll find out right there. Pretty simple. <laughs>